Welcome to our video on groups and organizations. Groups and organizations are used to manage your Zendesk support users and the ticket handling workflow. Groups collect team mem members together based on criteria those team members have in common. Groups can only contain team members like agents, admins, or other custom roles. No end users can be included. All agents must be assigned to at least one group, but they can be members of more than one. You can designate one group as the default group for your account, and you can also designate a default group for each team member. All new team members you create will be added to the default group. How you set up groups depends on your business needs and the support workflow you prefer. Here are some of the common ways that groups are used to escalate tickets based on complexity, to support service level agreements, to provide support by expertise, and to support customers by location and language. Organizations are typically collections of your end users, but they can also include team members. The use of organizations is optional, but by arranging your end users into organizations, you can keep track of what those organizations are requesting. How you organize your end users is entirely up to you. However, here are a few examples of how organizations can be used to support service level agreements, to track and manage tickets by company, to manage requests based on email domains, and to support customers by location and language. Once you've got an organization and group structure in place, your options for customizing your Zendesk support activity multiply. We've included a few favorites here. First, you can automatically assign tickets received from end users in an organization to a specific group, otherwise known as group mapping. This is a really popular workflow for supporting VIP customers. Secondly, create macros that assign new requests to a group or team member. You can allow users within an organization to see all of the tickets in their organization, also known as shared organization. And finally, create reports by organization or groups to help make informed data back decisions about your support processes. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.